Hello and welcome back to the ocean, which is full of water, except we're not doing anything with water. We're falling into a hole again. So in the last video on this world, I was in this hole, and when you pull this lever, I forgot to connect it up. Okay, as I was saying, last video I was on something like this, which was, you know, more aesthetic, it looked like this, except I forgot to connect the redstone up for that one. So, you know, we're on this one, which is a simulation of it. And when you pull the lever, the three blocks fold away, and you fall to your death, or, you know, wherever comedic place you're going to drop someone. But what if instead of 3x3, three three, you could make it 4x4? Four four? Well, I mean, obviously you can, for a start, and also, it's like, really easy still. It's, it's not, it's not complicated. <laughs> but, I'll show you how to build it anyway. So welcome to the 4x4 Trapdoor Tutorial. So here it is. So the redstone for it is really simple. It's just redstone going around the outside and some repeaters because all we do is have these sets of four slime blocks and honey blocks with four blocks on them. That push into the middle and then pull back. And that does not require a lot of redstone at all. Because all you got to do is power the second piston bit before the first piston. So as in, we power this redstone on the obsidian here, which will power this piston when it gets pushed forward. Then we power this back piston, so that pushes everything forwards. Then the second piston, because it's next to this redstone that was powered, pushes out. But this redstone will turn off first because it came on first and that means that this piston will pull back and then the back one will pull back. So it'll all go back to where it started. Bam. So what resources do you need? So for this door you need 4 redstone repeaters, 32 redstone dust, 8 sticky pistons, 8 slime blocks, 8 honey blocks and 20 obsidian. And the reason you need the obsidian is that it can't be pushed by the block, by the slime and honey blocks. So any bit where the slime and honey blocks go next to, you need obsidian instead of normal blocks, and then you fill in the rest of it with whatever you want. In terms of space, you need this 8 by 13 area, and what I've done is split it into an 8 by 12 area, with an extra block sticking out of the back, and that's because that's basically how it is in the door. There's just an extra block sticking out of the back, so that you can send redstone to both sides of it which you don't have on the other side. If we go one block forward from the bit that sticks out, the 4x4 door is in the middle of this 8x12 area. So on this one, it would be these four blocks in the middle is where the door comes into. And you need two blocks of space for the door components. So that'll be floor and you dig two blocks down. But like I said, you'd also have to put obsidian next to any bits of the slime and honey block slime slide next to because otherwise they'd get stuck. For your pistons, you go two blocks under the floor, because if we look here, the pistons are, there's a gap and then the pistons under the floor. And then what we do is we go on the longer side, on each side of the four x four trapdoor, we do slime blocks and honey blocks. And then on the other side, we do it the opposite way around. So where there were slime blocks, there's now honey blocks. And where there's honey blocks, there's now slime. Then behind all these, we just put pistons aiming into them, like that. And okay, I'm just going to put the blocks that go into the door on top of all these slime and honey blocks. So I'm just doing it like this. For our input, we go to the block that's sticking out, the sort of extra 13th block. We go to this piston here, and we go to the back, and one block above the piston and that's your input, and then you do a block on each side with a repeater that go into blocks. Then on the right side we have three blocks like this in the corner with redstone, then a block next to the piston with a repeater on three ticks of delay, and then two blocks with redstone, and these are what power the back pistons. Then we go two blocks forward, with an obsidian next to the slime block here, and redstone, because that'll power this piston when it gets pushed forward to here, to push everything out. Because 
your wall around the door is here at the moment. So to get to the other side we just do redstone going around like this and then we do an obsidian again next to a honey block in front of the piston with redstone on all of that. Then we go one block and into the corner we do a block going up with a redstone going into it. Then a block coming out the side with a repeater on three ticks of delay again going into a block and then two blocks behind these two back pistons with redstone. So that'll lead these to get pushed out and then this one to get powered when it's here. And now all we have to do is get the power to this side as well so that this one will get powered when it gets pushed here. So to do that we go back to our input, we go to the left side and next to the block the repeater goes into we take blocks like this with redstone on and then we just go all the way along the side until we get to the slime block in front of the piston, do an obsidian and then have the redstone going along it all like this. And there we go, this one didn't work because I forgot the obsidian next to the honey block there. So yeah, sorry about that on the left hand side. <laughs> Remember to put your obsidian on the slime or honey block in front of the piston. And that is the entire redstone for the door. So one thing to note, if you power this block that's your input block with a repeater or a torch or a lever directly on the block, then one side will go off before the other one. So if you want them to go off at the same time, you have to use a redstone as an input like that. And then power that from somewhere else. And there we go. So then your blocks will go around it like this. And anywhere these honey and slime blocks slide next to, you have to do obsidian instead. So that'll be this bit underneath them as well here. And then the rest is just normal blocks. Alright, I've been Iden and died. Hope you enjoyed this one. And you can check out my other videos like the smaller version of the trapdoor, the 3x3 one. We've also got videos on these multi-floor elevators that I think are probably the best thing I've built. So you choose the floor. And you get sent up to it. Or down. And I'll see you in the next one. I've been Iden died. Adios.